Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. And I apologise for the delay in getting this video out. But here's where we left off in the last lessons. We was dealing with the light and the ambient intensity values. And we'll worry about optimization later, but for now, let's get some more features uh, in place and up and running. So, we're going to make a start on the skybox blending. And to do that, we need to create a series of variables. So, we'll begin with public and of type float. And let's call this underscore... And let's say Dawn Skybox Blend Factor. Now we can give this a value between 0 and 1. Now for Dawn, I'm actually going to make mine 0.25f. In fact, let's say 0.5f for Dawn. And we'll get into the comments, so we'll say defines. Dawn Skybox Blend Value. And we'll come below here. So, how this is going to work is we're going to blend between the night and the day skybox. And that is tied to a value. And the value can be anywhere between 0 and 1. So, I'm going to set Dawn to half that. And then we'll paste in, we'll copy and paste in the same line. Now for day, I want it fully blended. So I'm going to give this a value of 1. Fully blended for the sky. And let's just change the comment here. And we'll just continue on. Let's, let's just paste in twice more and then we'll go through and change both of them. So... Now we need a value for dusk, and this one I am actually going to set at 0.25f. We'll change the comment as well. So I want the dusk to be darker than the actual dawn. And finally, we'll change this to underscore night. And uh, this time it can be fully blended as well, but in the opposite direction, as it were. Or the opposite extreme, so we have a value of zero. So a value of zero fully blended tonight, a value of one fully blended to the day, dawn's half that, and dusk is a quarter. And uh, let's just change the comment here. And now we need another public float. And we need to give this a name. So we'll say underscore skybox blend factor. And we can just close the line off. And we'll put it into the comments. So we'll say defines. And in fact, let's put capital in there. Defines the current skybox blend value. So this is going to be tied to the skybox itself. And then we'll alter this up or down until it hits the correct value for whatever state we are in. So let's come down. In fact, let's come all the way down to the bottom. And I'm going to come below the void on GUI. You can put this anywhere, but I'm going to come here. And we'll create of type private. Could be type void, because it does not return a value. And we'll say update the skybox. We'll open and close. We'll open and close again. Now, a little word of note for those of you that have followed along with the dynamic weather series we're probably not going to do anything too much different within the day night cycle here for the skybox as well but i'm still going to go through it in depth 
for those people that um, are just following this series alone so with that said let's copy in a debug log and we'll change out the naming convention and now we have that void created let's come to the void update and we'll call that void so update skybox open and close brackets we'll close the line off into the comment so we'll say call update skybox function and in fact while we're here i'm going to change the seconds counter to call i think that's a little bit more accurate so we'll save that off there so we have a series of values in place to what the skybox needs to be we have a float that will be changing up or down to the correct value we're calling the update skybox function in the void update so it's constantly running and here's the void so let's get some more code into this function now and we'll say if open brackets underscore and uh, we want underscore day phases double equals and then we want day phases with the capital D and we want the dot dawn close brackets will open and close and we'll come into the comments as always if day phase is equal to dawn and inside this if block is where we're going to put all the code that we need to have in order to change the skybox but first things first let's copy all this if block and let's paste it in three more times so we have four in total and we need to change it out to day dusk and finally night we'll just bring the comment back into line and we'll change the comment here so day dusk and finally let's change this to night and we'll save that off there so we have the script set up i think we'll leave it here for this lesson and we'll do a separate lesson where we just concentrate on filling out these if blocks i think that might be the best way of doing it but um, hopefully you understand how everything's going to work we have the variables in place we're calling the function and we already have all the if block blocks depending on which day phase we are in so as i said i think we'll leave it here for now i hope you enjoyed this lesson i hope to see you next time and until then as always bye for now